95.5 WFMS. Good morning with Jim, Dab, and Kevin. Can't be deaf. No, you can't. Can't be deaf. Let's get it rolling. It's another round of Can't Beat Deb, and our contestant is Dan. Hey, Dan. Hey. <laughs> All right, here's how we play. Dan, we're going to give you five questions. If you get more right than Deb, then, well, you win. If she gets more right than you, then she wins. And if uh, you tie, because the name is called Can't Beat Deb, all ties go to Deb. If you're ready, here is question number one. VCU had to pull out of the NCAA tournament due to COVID. What does VCU stand for? Virginia Commonwealth University. Question two, Indiana is the epicenter of March Madness. Finish this sentence. March in like a lion. Um, March goes out like a lamb. All right, question three, Easter is around the corner, and one of the most popular treats at Easter is the Cadbury egg. What is the name of the sauce used in making Eggs Benedict? I, I always called it uh, Eggs Benedict uh, holiday sauce. All right, there's our uh, question three. Let's go to four. You can uh, get a really good estimate of the temperature in Fahrenheit by counting how many times a cricket chirps in 14 seconds and then adding 40 to that number. Now, how do crickets make their chirping sounds? Um, maybe their legs. I don't know. Maybe their legs, maybe? All right, there's, there's a question four. Let's go to question five. A new survey found the least favorite chore to do around the house is cleaning the bathroom. Now, who was the first president to have a flush toilet in the White House? Was it President Abe Lincoln, President Teddy Roosevelt, or President Millard Fillmore? You know, that sounds like something Teddy Roosevelt would do. I, I'm going to have to come up with uh, Teddy Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt, all right. There's Dan's five questions. Let's bring Deborah back in the room for the same questions and see how she does. All right, first, let's check the traffic. Brought to you by Hubler Chevrolet and drivehubler.com. East side, eastbound 70 at 65. That's in the north split there. The right lane is closed, and that is due to construction right now. Your traffic is brought to you by Farmers Insurance. Can't be deaf. No, you can't. Can't beat Deb. All right, it's back to Can't Beat Deb. Say hello to contestant Dan. Hi, Dan. How are you? I'm up and ready. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go, Deb, with question number one. VCU had to pull out of the NCAA tournament due to COVID. What does VCU stand for? Oh, gosh. Um, it, it stands for VC University. <laughs> VC University. Okay. Yeah. So, did I get that part right? Did I get the university right? I, you're, you're, okay, I'll tell you. You are one third of the way there. Yes. You're, yes. Yes. Okay. So, VCU. What does VCU stand for? Virginia. Virginia Community University. <laughs> Virginia I don't know. I don't know. University. I, I need to that call is my son. Correct. Uh, it is Virginia Commonwealth University. Oh, I was close. And Dan knew that. Dan! So the point. So it's Deb Zero, Dan One. All right, here we go. Question two. Indiana is the epicenter of March Madness. Now finish this sentence. March in like a lion? Out like a lamb. That's correct. And Dan knew that too. Oh. So it's Deb One, Dan Two. All right, question three. Easter is around the corner, and one of the most popular treats at Easter is the Cadbury egg. What is the name of the sauce used in making Eggs Benedict? Eggs Benedict is a hollandaise sauce. That's correct. And Dan knew that too. So it's Deb 2, oh, Deb no. 3. This isn't good. This is not good. Question 4. I don't want to lose. Question uh -huh. 4. You can get a really good estimate of the temperature in Fahrenheit by counting how many times a cricket chirps in 14 seconds, then adding 40 to that number. How do crickets make their chirping sounds? They, uh, they rub their feet together. There... We'll count that, Woo! absolutely. Uh, and Dan knew that as well. Oh so gosh, it's Dan. Deb three, Dan four. All right, Last here we question. go. Question five. A new survey found the least favorite chore to do around the house is cleaning the bathroom. Who was the first president to have a flush toilet in the White House? Was it President Abe Lincoln, President Teddy Roosevelt, or President <laughs> Millard Fillmore? Oh, my God. I don't know. If Dan got this, I'm going to be ticked. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go with Roosevelt. That's incorrect. And Dan also went with Roosevelt, so what nobody it? scores. It's uh, President Fillmore was the first, 1853, the first flush Stillard. toilet Stillard. in the White House. So nobody scores. The final score, though, Deb 3, Dan 4. Dan. No, 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 no. I didn't hear that. La, 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 la. 
just beat them. <laughs> no, Dan, this is not good. Well, Dan, it's time no. for those proud and famous words. I'm Dan from Greenfield, and I just beat Dan. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky me. Lucky you. Well, if you'd like to yeah, be a yeah. contestant on the Can't Beat Them, go to WFMS.com and get all signed up. Outstanding. And uh, getting a chance to win that Alexa from uh, Curb Records. Your next chance comes up at 9 o'clock on 95.5 WFMS.